Hey guys, it might not feel like it's been that long for you if you're a regular watcher, but for me, it's been quite a while. <laughs> hey guys, it's Lucy and yep, I am back. I'm back at it, I'm doing it. Not only have I got the camera out today, but I also got my trainers out today. <laughs> I know that it's just been two weeks of no uploads, but for me, I haven't filmed for about four weeks. I've had pretty much the whole of November off from filming and running. This is very strange for me. But before I explain what I've been up to and what I've been doing, if this is the first video of mine that you've come across, hello, my name is Lucy. I have been on a running and weight loss journey since February 2020. I started that journey at 230 pounds, unable to run for more than 30 seconds at a time. Now I looked online to try and find someone who had been in that position and actually managed to become a runner, someone who knew the exact struggles that I was going through, someone who I could relate to. To be honest, someone who would make me realise that actually it is possible for me. It doesn't matter where I've started from. All that matters is where I'm heading. And to cut a long story short, I've lost a lot of weight, I've run a lot of miles, and I, for the first time this year, became an ultra marathoner, running a 50k ultra marathon. So if this is the kind of content that you think you need, or that you think you're going to enjoy hit the subscribe button become a virtual running buddy i cannot believe this but i have now surpassed seven thousand running buddies i feel like it wasn't even that long ago like i'm gonna say like only a few months ago it had just gone to six thousand so wow thank you you guys are literally the best like i couldn't ask for better running buddies especially in the comments that i have the most supportive people in the world and i appreciate you all i'm gonna stop being zobby <laughs> and obviously if you've been before come on in take a seat but i have been away now i flew across the pond over to the united states of america i had, did have big big plans to film two videos while i was out there but my trip was a family holiday i wasn't going out there to film i did vlog and i did film but it's not going to be put on the internet it's just for my family the big vlog that I filmed while I was out there is just for us. It's just for us to look back on in years to come. Matt has been away, he's been working away and he had a two week R&R window and thankfully he was allowed to come back for those two weeks that we'd booked the holiday. I did fly out to Orlando, Florida. We did a Walt Disney World and a Universal Studios holiday it was the best absolutely loved it it was so much fun a complete relief from reality I feel unbelievably blessed that we got to go on this holiday and i think that was the main reason why i didn't actually film anything for this channel my idea was i wanted to film a run with me around the disney hotel that i stayed at i stayed in all star music now there is a running track um, I believe it's like a mile long. It was already dark by the time we were getting up. So if I needed to get up an hour or so before to make a video, the footage wouldn't have been great. It would have been dark. If I decided to wait until the sun come up and go and film one, I'd be taking time away from my family and I just didn't want to. So I took running kit with me and so did Matt actually, but neither of us got a run in. <laughs> but you know what, it's such an active holiday. It definitely was the right choice to not get a run in. <laughs> definitely. I also wanted to do a video of how many steps on my watch I do in a day in a Disney park. I just wanted to see if I could do that kind of video, but I actually ended up taking my watch off when I got there and I only just put it back on today. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't get my Florida run with me, but if you want to see me running in America, I was so lucky to be able to take a trip to New York City in May. I will put that video above. So it has been Oh, four weeks I think it's been four weeks if it's not been four weeks it's been a bit less but it's felt like forever obviously I chose not to run in Florida and I haven't been for well I have but <laughs> I hadn't been for a run basically the whole of November was no run whatsoever this morning is the first of December and I woke up to a very very frosty um, scenery out the window it really did put me off it made me not want to go at all I kept thinking mm, today's not the day for a run let's be real and for the whole of November I had a history of not running 
<laughs> of choosing not to. So November is a write off and I just want to start December the 1st as a new day, a new month. Let's get out there and go. And yes, I got my trainers on and I went for a run. I feel so out of practice. I have my phone because I'm just going to film on my phone today, not taking my camera. I've got my water bottle. I'm going to get my key. I don't take anything else, I don't think. <laughs> it really has been that long. <laughs> It's tissues, tissues, you forgot, tissues. <laughs> And just like that, the first mile is done. And I just keep thinking to myself, why on earth did I not force myself to come out and do this? Like, I had a couple of opportunities where I could have ran, but I chose to walk storm instead. So this is like really uneven, so I have to <laughs> focus on where I'm putting my feet. It is absolutely freezing. I am so cold and my hands, you see how pink they are. But when I'm not filming, I wrap them up in my sleeves. It's crazy how quick they get so cold when they leave my sleeves. <laughs> I didn't have a route planned. For some reason that seems to be my uh, my trait. <laughs> I wanted to avoid some of the longer hills that I've been running on recently, but just because I've just been so nervous about coming out and running because it's been so long. <sighs> I don't know which way to go. <laughs> um, I'll go this way. <laughs> Just go straight. <laughs> so I thought maybe this area would be good because yes, it is hilly, but I feel like they're in like short bursts. Oh, although, I don't know. I am struggling a bit. <laughs> it's basically one big area and it's got like loads of little tracks leading off in every direction. Just imagine like a web of tracks <laughs> because they're all tank tracks some of the tracks are fairly smooth you know quite manageable just like this one but other ones they're just so uneven so bumpy i do have to do quite a lot of like valuations can i get over that do i just need to walk over it do i need to run round to the edge which is what i did do earlier okay i'm, tired. I'm pretty tired <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm happy with that. Right, the camera, I'm just gonna have to get used to the fact that it does not do it justice. <laughs> this is a gradual long incline, so I was just there. I remember being on a video before and I was really struggling on the inclines around this area and I actually got really upset on that hill and I had to stop and I was really upset and I was tearful because I was struggling so much and I was so anxious about coming out and running because I felt like I hadn't done it in so long like for me it's such a long time and I think what makes it feel longer is I've not been injured and a couple days like a couple times this month or oh, last month it's now the first of December <laughs> a couple days it was my choice uh, not to go and I, that was a combination of a lot of things uh, I was in a bit of a cycle but anyway I'll get into that a bit later but I've just ran up this hill not quickly not elegantly <laughs> but I did it and I did it without stopping and I felt the whole way that I could get up without stopping and to be honest I feel like I've got my breath back already I'm only about a mile and a half into this run not been running 
a huge amount of time. I, I'm really, really happy with that. I think my saving grace for that incline was the fact that it's so cold. That is going to be one of the benefits of going out for a run in the cold. You don't have to worry about feeling the sluggishness that you get from running in the heat. I think the fact that it's so cold uh, benefited me today. So if you're put off by how cold it is outside, maybe you'll benefit on the hills because maybe um, I have. So there we go. <laughs> right, that's half an hour and to convince myself to leave this morning I said I was only going to do 30 minutes and I haven't even thought about heading home yet so I think that's a really good sign It also means I think I'm going at a good pace even though I wasn't focusing on pace today I wanted to make sure it was <sighs> a no pressure run It just needed to happen That was the only pressure I needed to put on myself and smashed it already I always feel like whenever I'm talking to the camera and speaking in a way that is hopefully encouraging. Sometimes I picture myself talking to my past self and saying things that I would have needed to hear. Hopefully this reaches someone who needs to hear it right now. And it's not as bad as you think it is. Nobody's judging you. You're doing it for the right reasons. You want to do something healthy. You do deserve to be out there running. It's not reserved for the fast. It's not reserved for the ambitious. It's not reserved for the confident, it's actually not reserved for anyone. Get your trainers on and do the hard thing. And before you know it, it's just not so hard. I know that feels like it's never gonna happen. I know it feels like it's always gonna be hard, but if you're patient and you're consistent, what you find hard today won't be. And then before you know it, you'll be hoping that all your runs are hard because that means you're improving. I think I need a thumbs up for that because I just did all that on a gradual incline. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. I'm getting quite tired actually. <laughs> didn't think this one through. <gasps> Ooh. Oh no, I think we're good, I think we're good. <laughs> I think because that's my, that's my route I've decided to do and it's really uneven. So I'm just gonna walk this bit. <laughs> While I'm walking, I will go over the cycle that I've been going through. And that is um, that because I've not been for a run and I've been really, sluggish i've been in america for two weeks and then a lot going on as soon as i got through the front door as soon as i landed on the plane back home obviously matt had to go back to work pretty much instantly a lot to sort out and my daughter to sort out anyway had a lot going on the last thing on my mind was oh, actually this is like i don't even think this is going to be possible We're heading back. <laughs> okay, so the last thing on my mind was thinking about getting straight back on that weight loss train. You know, clearly I put weight on during my holiday. I was at Disney World, I was at Universal Studios. I wasn't out there wanting calories. I was out there having the time of my life, absolutely loving it. I enjoyed my holiday and definitely ate more than I would have done at home, of course. And then since I've come back, I've decided to continue that holiday vibe and only focus on the things I needed to focus on. I was also straight back to work the next day after we landed back home. And because I've not been feeling myself, 
I'm really starting to feel the sluggishness and the weight gain. I've just, I've been just too scared to step on the scales. I don't want to see that number. I don't think it's going to be good for me to see the number. And because I've not had the chance to go out and run, and the couple times that I have, I've decided not to, because of many reasons, not just because I haven't wanted to go, but that definitely has been part of it. Then, because I haven't chosen to go, confidence has dropped. I don't feel as much self-worth. just don't feel good in myself feel like I need to run too scared to run because I haven't done it in so long and I don't want it to be like really hard and see where this is going you know not feeling good I'm not doing the thing that I have the most pride in which is my running because I'm not doing that I'm not hitting goals I feel like I'm getting further away from goals and then I'm not I'm gonna have to go under this tree again uh, because I'm not moving forward I feel like I'm moving backwards then I find it really hard to get myself to try to move forwards again so I've not chosen to go felt worse about myself for not going because I feel worse about myself for not going I then not made the choices food wise that I should be making and then having those convenient foods overeating then makes me feel worse about myself more sluggish then that puts me off going for a run then choosing not to run makes me feel bad about myself which then leads me to make poor decisions those poor decisions make me feel sluggish i'm then too scared to go for a run <laughs> don't go for that run and uh, yeah I, I knew that getting up and out and going for a run will stop that cycle 100 percent it will it already has like i feel so good i feel so good why did i not why did i not do that like there were days when I really desperately needed to go for a run, not just to help me get out of that cycle, just for my mental health. And my mental health stopped me going. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed. Get your trainers on and get out. That's it. That's, that's all the advice I needed. That is all I needed to be told. I just wasn't telling myself that. I'm going to head back home, but I'm not going to go directly home. I'm going to see maybe if I can get another mile out of this. I'm about three miles in, 35 minutes for running, so yeah. Oh, I got too cocky guys, way too cocky, I got too greedy, I've actually done over five miles now and I've hit all the area with all the hills, well I mean it's all hills but these are worse hills than what I had on the training area I was at at the start of this run and now I've left myself in a situation where the only way I can get home is left or right, both of which are really long big inclines i pushed it too far but at least i'm on the way home as if i just did a 10k like am i joking i was i normally like to do a bit of a walk on the way back home but I finished obviously I didn't plan any of this didn't plan the 10k nothing um <laughs> I'm just going to take my vest off put my coat on I'm just going to take Storm for like a 30 minute walk now and then that could be my walk cool down and then he's done I did not plan to be out for that long <laughs> Storm ended up getting 40 minutes out with me after that run and we did a sniffing walk and now this is the kind of thing that I do when I'm not with my daughter because normally I'm walking him with my daughter and I just every time he wants to stop and sniff something I will stop and I won't encourage him to keep going I'll just let him sniff for as long as he wants and um, he gets really really tired after these types of walks so yeah I, I look at him he was loving it absolutely loving it now i did skip breakfast so i was so so hungry um yes yeah, so i made this really nice big plate of beans on toast and that was my day bye guys